Hey everyone, Donald for Talking No Podcast. Back on my JP account. Yeah, it's been a while since I've scouted on JP. Um, long story short, money's kind of tight. It's during the Christmas holiday and I've got some other expenses coming up. So I haven't really been able to spend a lot on any of my accounts besides my Ian main. And to be perfectly honest, the set that we had on JP, the Musicians of Bremen set, and now the new Christmas set, I mean, they're cute, but they just didn't wow me. But we're here today for a very special occasion, um, because we now have a new set of limited URs, and it's the first years. But you might notice that I'm not as freaked out as you would think I would be, and that's because there have been some significant changes made to the limited box that make it much more possible to get the limited UR that you want. And I'm going to explain those changes right now. The first change is that limited boxes now only have 100 cards in them. 80 rares, 15 SRs, 4 SSRs, and 1 UR. That means that you can completely empty the box using only 455 gems, which is 9 10 plus 1s plus a solo YOLO. The second change is you can now only reset the box twice. This might sound lame, but trust me, it's not. And that's because the third change that they made to the box is, quite frankly, earth-shattering. You get to choose which limited you are to scout for. I kid you not. Of course, I'm going to scout for Johanne, because Johanne is best girl. Boom. And because of all of those changes, like I said, it is now extremely easy to get the card that you're looking for, because worst case, you will only need 455 gems or the equivalent in red tickets or green tickets. Unlike the old style limited boxes where you could literally scout and scout and scout and scout till the cows come home or you max out your credit card and not get the card that you want because you get like two rubies and a Hanamaru instead of a Yohane. Uh, yeah, I'm still salty about that. So yes, limited boxes are now awesome. I mean, 455 gems, that is even within the grasp of free-to-play players. And yeah, you may have to whale to get your best girl, but since you only need 455 gems maximum, you won't need to go Super Scion Space Whale. Yeah, this is big news, really big news, and thank you Based K-Lab for making these changes. Anyways, I wasn't going to scout in this box originally, but then something happened. As you can see up in the top of the screen, I have 59 green tickets. That's because my lottery ticket on JP that I opened earlier today gave me 45 green tickets. So yes, I have enough green tickets to scout over half of the cards in the box. Plus, I have 108 gems in my counter, and I don't know how many gems I have in my present box, but basically, I think I'll have enough to empty the box. And I really want to scout for this Johanne because she is really cute. So yes, absolutely wonderful change that they made to these. Now, there is currently two boxes that have the limited URs on them. There's this box, and then there's this other box. Now, this other box is not so good because it basically is just like any other special scouting box during events. This box does contain the limited URs, but which one you get is completely random. You don't get to choose. So if I were you, yeah, I'd scout in this other box. Anyways, we're going to do this. And yeah, 59 green tickets. This is going to be really annoying because doing solo pulls in this box is really annoying. <laughs> but 
You know what? I'm going to do it for best girl. Anyways, let me fill my member list and I'll be right back. And we are back and let's do this. Come on, best girl. Ooh, SR. And Picnic Conan, aka Stalker Conan. <laughs> I have lost count of how many copies of this card I've gotten across all of my accounts. Ooh, SSR and Initial Hanamaru. I already have her idolized. Are. And Subway Chica, another stalker card. I've gotten so many copies of this card on across all of my accounts. <sighs> Johanne Shokan. Thank you, best girl. And we're gonna screenshot that. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> See, dreams do come true, and these new limited boxes are freaking amazing. I didn't even I didn't I didn't even have to use all of my green tickets. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> Anyways, oh my god, thank you, best girl. And it looks like she is one of the new skills. I think she's a perfect tap score up. Excellent. Anyways, let me just try something here. I'm gonna reset the box. And okay, when you reset the box, you can choose a different girl. So, like, if you wanted to go for all three of the first years, you could, you know, pull for Yohane and then reset, and then pull for Hanamaru, and then pull for Ruby. Or you can get three copies of Yohane if you really want. You know, it's up to you. These new boxes are awesome. Anyways, this video... <laughs> I'm still in shock. Best girl came home from a green ticket. Anyways, yeah, this is kind of a short video, so let's see if I have any... SR Plus tickets. I don't have any on Muse, but yeah, I've got one on Aqua. Let's see if we can get something shiny. SR. And that's, um, Regio. And this is another card that I've gotten like 86 million copies of. Anyways. Uh, let me sell some stickers. I think we can do some um, blue ticket scouts. I'll be right back. And we're back. Let's end this on two blue ticket scouts. See if we can get something shiny. SR. Um, Christmas Chica. Another card that stalks me. <laughs> Last blue ticket scout. Give me something shiny. 
and SR. Animal Chica. Anyways, that is it for this video. Some really awesome changes to the limited boxes. Now, let me answer the questions that you're all probably asking. First of all, is this going to be applied retroactively to the limited boxes that Worldwide Server hasn't yet gotten? Namely, the Blu-ray second and third years. And the answer is, I, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing probably not. And the second question that I'm sure people are asking is, will this new style of limited boxes be used on all of the limited boxes going forward, including the birthday limited boxes? And the answer is, I have no idea. Next Muse birthday is Hanayo, which is on January 17th, so we'll know in about a month. Although, some are speculating that starting with Daya's birthday on New Year's, we might start seeing Aqua limited birthday URs. So who knows, we might know in just a few weeks. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will see you next time. Not sure when I'll be doing my next scout here on JP. Uh, we currently have the Christmas set, part one, which like I said, I, I think it's cute, but it just doesn't, you know, bowl me over. Um, so I'll have to see what set comes out after Christmas, and yeah, maybe I'll scout for it, because I've got plenty of green tickets and gems left. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for now. Sayonara, Johnny.